In this short video, I'm going to bring us up to date on CAD support in ArcGIS Pro. In ArcGIS, CAD is an important and popular data source that I use in two distinct ways. First, I want to display my CAD drawings as a completed work product in the context of a map. And when I do, I want it to look like the original CAD drawing. Or, I want to repurpose a CAD drawing as a source of GIS features which is going to involve interpretation and translation and conversion. These two uses can have conflicting goals, but in ArcGIS Pro, I can accommodate both. When Pro was first introduced, the primary goal was to get CAD data into the map as standard feature layers. Now, Pro doesn't have the concept of special renderers for CAD layers or CAD annotation like ArcMap. So annotation was added by labeling text entities as points. To make CAD data look more like a CAD drawing, a behavior was implemented where a group layer is added for each CAD feature class. And then sublayers are created with definition queries for each CAD layer, and then symbolized to match the symbology of each CAD layer to make it look like the original CAD drawing. Blocks and cells, which I often use in CAD to depict point features of different types, are also available to add as their own distinct feature classes. When all I'm looking to do is convert CAD data, I can set the option in the backstage of ArcGIS Pro to automatically convert all CAD data to the default geo database whenever CAD data is added to a map. The GP tool export to CAD has also been included in ArcGIS Pro. When I run export to CAD to create an AutoCAD file, the default behavior is to create ArcGIS datasets inside the AutoCAD file. The resulting drawing is usable by anyone with AutoCAD, but these ArcGIS datasets come alive when I view them in Esri's free ArcGIS for AutoCAD plugin. The combination of ArcGIS Desktop and ArcGIS for AutoCAD allows me to exchange ArcGIS datasets with others using just the specially formatted AutoCAD file. ArcGIS for AutoCAD is part of Esri's larger strategy for interoperability between people working in AutoCAD and those working in ArcGIS. ArcGIS for AutoCAD helps AutoCAD users with file-based workflows, but it is also capable of consuming and editing ArcGIS Enterprise Web Services. Now getting back to Pro, when adding CAD to a map in ArcGIS Pro, the dataset is broken up into feature classes based on five standard geometric types, point, polyline, polygon, multi-patch, and annotation. The CAD graphic properties are included as field values in a virtual table. Then any ArcGIS for AutoCAD feature classes are included, and then any blocks or cells can be added as their own point feature classes. Optionally, when I add CAD data to a map, I can choose to automatically convert the CAD data to the default geo database by setting the backstage option. When automatically converted, the converted data is displayed in the same way within the map but the layers will be linked to the geo database rather than the original CAD file. New for ArcGIS Pro 1.4, we've added a CAD layer toolbar to access GP tools commonly used in conversion and a new georeferencing experience customized for CAD. Here's a short demo of these new capabilities. Welcome to this brief video outlining the CAD file georeferencing capability added in ArcGIS Pro version 1.4. I'm working on a map and I've added a CAD file to ArcGIS Pro. The layer has been added successfully. I don't see it where I expect it. When I zoom to the extent of the CAD layer, I see that it thinks the drawing is in the Pacific Ocean somewhere. Zooming back to where I know this CAD file is supposed to be, I will use the new CAD layer toolbar to help me georeference this CAD file and adjust it to its correct position. I will activate the CAD layer toolbar, but before I activate the georeferencing interface, I'm going to first check to see if this CAD file has a valid coordinate system assigned to it. Many times, a CAD file may be drawn in the correct coordinate space, but ArcGIS just needs to know what that coordinate system is. In this case, it has a valid coordinate system defined, but the CAD drawing was simply not drawn correctly according to that coordinate system. Many times, however, if I specify the coordinate system that the CAD file was actually drawn in, I'll find that I don't need to georeference the drawing at all. But in this case, I will need to continue to georeference this drawing. I invoke the georeferencing tool, which displays a new georeferencing toolbar on my ArcGIS Pro ribbon. 
I can work through the various tools provided for me to perform the georeferencing transformation. I always start by navigating to the location close to where I know the drawing is supposed to go. Often, I use the Locate tool to enter an address or a place name. In this case, I'm already zoomed into the location. Once there, I use the Fit to Display tool to move my CAD file to fill the current view so that I can work with it further. I can then nudge the drawing into place graphically using a combination of the Move, Scale, and Rotate tools. And or I can define and affine two-point transformation by creating two sets of link points. Creating links is especially useful and accurate where I have geometry in both ArcGIS and in the CAD file to snap to. For now, I'll simply define a couple of links graphically based on the base map, which will be good enough for my work here today. I select the Add Control Points tool to define my transformation links and select two sets of to and from points. Once satisfied with these two points, I can get a visual confirmation of my transformation by selecting the Apply button. And then I can save my georeferencing transformation that will be stored in an Esri world file within the same directory as the CAD file. This Esri world file will be recognized by ArcGIS whenever the CAD drawing is added to a map or used in a geoprocessing tool. Optionally, I could also save this transformation to associate with other drawings or for the whole workspace. This is used where the coordinates are drawn correctly relative to each other and could use the same transformation as this file. Once I save the transformation, I can close the georeferencing session return to working on my map, and all of the CAD layers will be updated. Here are some additional links that you might find useful when dealing with CAD and GIS in general. Thanks for watching.